Hey, welcome to Space Apps Bootcamp. Uh, my name is Nadia Chilmonic. I'm a data scientist, programmer, and artist. Um, I've been working in startups for five years and have always focused on the way data connects to the real world. In my philosophy, there are some major questions that you need to ask in order to tackle a challenge like one of the Space Apps challenges today. Um, and make it into a solution that incorporates data to solve a real world problem. Note, it's not a series of questions that you can just check off and answer as you go. Um, you'll have to continue iterating through them to find a viable solution. So here they are. Uh, I'll go into them in more depth in a moment. So number one, what is the problem that you're trying to solve? Number two, what data do you have available to you? Number three, what resources, skills, um, or people do you have on your team? Um, and number four, what will you, or sorry, who will your solution serve? Number five, who are your other stakeholders? And number six, does your data really answer the questions you're trying to ask it? Uh, as you can see, none of these questions are easy to answer, and starting from zero, it sounds like a lot, uh, but a good way to get working through them is to start at the top and write what you think could be a good answer, and then keep going through the list until you start seeing ways that your answers can come together to solve the problem. Okay, so let's talk about each question. Number one, that's the easy one, or maybe the hardest one. <laughs> What is the problem you're trying to solve? Okay, for this one, we want to start general and get more specific as you work through your answers to the other questions. If you have looked at the challenges, you can start there, picking one of the challenges. Uh, number two, what data do you have available to you? Uh, in this challenge, you have the awesome opportunity to use any of the data available from NASA, ESA, or JAXA, as well as supplementary data sources. I can encourage you to check out data.world for free data sets around COVID-19. And there are many others online today. Um, you can start checking out what is available to you via these sources um, and even just Google searches as long as you check on the validity of those sources. Uh, so the second part of this question is at uh, this point, what data can be made available? So if you don't have the data already, but it is important to your solution, Maybe your solution can incorporate ways to get more data, um, or the result is even to provide a new source of data. So the third question, what resources, skills, or people do you have on your team? What kind of opportunities can your team provide for itself? Um, so do you have a designer? Do you have a coder? Do you have a data scientist? Maybe a business or marketing mind? Uh, if you have not yet built your team, it's great to start thinking about that ahead of time so you can find those people that can add skills to your team. Um, but if you already have built your team, think about the, the talents that you already have on the team and how you can incorporate those into building your solution. So number four, who will your solution serve? This is arguably the most important question um, a solution won't work if it isn't built for a user to use. Who will benefit most from your solution? How will they access it? How will it um, improve their life, their work, their effectiveness, or their safety? All of these additional questions need to be asked. Answers could be uh, doctors in hospitals, individuals with respiratory illnesses, journalists, legislatures and their aides, people with families in other countries, um, the list goes on and on. And even if many people could use your solution, try to make, uh, try to keep some specific personas in mind. It will help you develop something that works. So who are your other stakeholders is number five. Stakeholders extend beyond the ultimate audience for, sol for your solution. They can be providers of data, uh, providers of resources, people who benefit from your solution secondhand, or middle people between you and your user. Think about how those stakeholders need to be built into your solution. Uh, so number six, our last one, does your data really answer the questions you are trying to ask it? Um, 
So when you are working with data, it's easy to get excited and say for a simple example, uh, we are seeing more cases of COVID-19 in the northern part of the county than the southern part of the county. So there's clearly a higher risk of exposure. But you need to take a step back and ask questions like, how does the population in the northern part compare to the southern part? How does population density compare? Um, when were first cases reported in either part of the county? How common is testing in either part of the county? Uh, even if you can't answer these questions, make sure to take note of your assumptions and make it clear what your data is telling you and what it cannot tell you. After taking a stab at each of these questions, go back through your each answer and start making connections between them. You may need to make big changes to some of your answers um, or just refine and focus in on one through line which develops. Common data science solutions um, are often centering around some of these areas, so I'll share some of those with you as well. Um, to help people understand the data through analysis, visualization, design, and or storytelling. Uh, another one is to help people access the data in a new way or via an easy to reach platform. Also, to help people collect more data to answer still open questions, um, to discover new patterns or insights in your data, uh, to make models to predict future data, and also to monitor changes in data while it's happening. And remember, monitoring is good for triggering action. So who will be looking at your monitor and how can your monitor lead to interventions? Um, so this is by no means an exhaustive list of ways that someone can use data science to solve real world problems, but I think it will give you a good place to start. So good luck and thank you for participating. The world needs you.